So, so what do you girls think of this place? That's scary, but as long as I'm with you, I'm okay. Protect us from the monsters, will you? Of course. Thank you, Sayori. I love you, Howie. I love you too, Sayori. Yuri? I am not comfortable with all this. But the alternative is to be in a world without you, and full of unfair rules. And I suppose this world is the lesser of two evils. Yo, glad that you can see it my way. That's why you're my fave. Save your breath, I do not like you. Heh, <laughs> and I don't need you to. As long as you promise that you won't hurt anyone and it's to turn evil, then I'm okay with this. Don't worry, sis. I don't want to be evil. Evil doesn't feel good. No shit, it doesn't. People do bad things because they already feel bad in the first place. Whether it be caused by their own flaws or by the flaws of society. Of course, some people choose to do bad things because evil feels good and evil is easy. It's easier to kill a pesky bee by spraying it with hairspray than escorting it safely out of your room with risk of getting stung. It's easier to pirate games and movies online than working your ass off to buy them with legitimate cash you've earned. It's easier to be an asshole and not caring what other people feel. Being nice is hard work. Now, if you want to follow your own rules, or should I say, morals, is indeed a harder path. Morals can't always help you get what you want. Sometimes a bit of ruthlessness and selfishness is needed. I'd suggest for you to just say fuck it and let go, but I know you ain't that kind of guy. You're goddamn right. A presence approaches us. A warm presence emanating an aura of sadness. I see you have chosen the path of chaos. I suppose you believe this is to be the better alternative compared to the other. Hmm. You need not to answer. You also don't need this too. Congratulations on earning the life you deserve. Aren't you going to stop me? Or stop him? At this point, I can neither judge nor interfere. The plot has already been set in motion, with no way to halt its progress. Yeah, you can't do shit, brah. Useless god. You can't hurt me with words, Lucifer. Not when I know what I or that I deserve it. Fuck you. If you have any regrets, should you wish to change your fate, the only way to change it is to consider different choices in a different time. I see. Thank you for helping me, Daze. For everything you've done to help me. Thank you. Think nothing of it. Congratulations to you too, Lucifer, for achieving your lifelong dream. I do hope it is worth it. Of course it is, you deadbeat dad. See you around, lol. Fare thee well. I am no longer needed. This is the last time I shall communicate with you. Good. Get out of here. You're killing my vibes. But wait, please. Oh, Sally, are you okay? I... Huh, the girls can't hear Days for some reason. Days, please don't go yet. I've still got some questions. Days? Days' presence vanished. Where did he go? I just want to ask him about... Well, there's still something missing. No, I don't mean Monica. Yeah, I was just playing along. The moment Lucy took her soul, the memory of her was erased from the girls' minds. What, you think I've actually forgotten about her? I'm the protagonist of FFS. Screw the rules. I've got plot armor. It was a necessary sacrifice for our survival. I feel bad, but it is how it is. I just want to know, what about the rest of my true past? What about Yuri's true past? Also, what happened to Eileen? And that concrete giant? Did Lucifer kill them too? Are they okay? Ah, nope, that's it. My brain hurty. Maybe I can find my answers in the future, but at this point, I'm just too tired to care. I'm not going to torture my brain with this shit. Instead, I'm going to focus on my new wonderful life with my family. Sure, it's chaotic as balls outside, but I'm going to change it for the better. Someday. Just not today. Today's a day for rest and relaxation. Today's a day for celebration. So, what should I do now, player? <laughs> well, let's see. Since we are in the bad ending... Or at least we got an ending. I'm going to drop a save here so we can explore all these options and we don't have to come back all this way for them. We'll just take it right from the top. Do whatever the fuck you want, of course. Ben. Well, now that that's taken care of, why don't we bond a little? Bond? And by bond, I mean let's have sex. If you girls want to, of course. What? They all said. Uh, someone was protesting more. And I was like, Holy f that's, that's gross. You're gross, pervert. We're related, remember? What happened to- I have no intention to bang your daughter! Nah, it's all good. Don't pretend that you didn't want this. Also in this world, incest is wincest. He's not gonna knock you up. Unless you want him to. 
As for the baby, I'll make sure he, she isn't an inbred mutant with my magic, so it's totally cool. Shut the fuck up! Fine, jeez. Holy, we're still so young. Also, are you going to do Yuri and Natsuki too? Only if you're okay with it. I love you, and I don't want to hurt you. But after everything, I think I can say that I love all of you. Except you, Lucy. I hate you. Oh, I hate you too, you harem fuckboy. And I want to show you girls how much I love all of you equally. We're living in this world now. Might as well enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Siri, if you're not okay with it, then we can call this off. I'm never going to force you to do the things you don't feel comfortable doing. I... It's so embarrassing, but... I, I love you, and not to get married, too. I don't mind doing it with all of you. Seriously? Oh my shit, she's not a cinnamon bun anymore. Has this world messed with her head? Nah, she just acted accordingly to her desire. Looks like she really loves you and Yuri as well. Trust me when I said the purest of heart will always be the horniest. Shut the fuck up! I didn't ask you for your input! Rude. It's fine, Natsuki. We're already at the end anyway. Hell, is right. We might as well enjoy it while it lasts. What? Siri comes closer to me. Hallie, please be gentle. And I want you to put it in me first. No problem. That was my plan from the start. Yes, I can finally lose my virginity. <laughs> You're really looking forward to this, aren't you? Your eyes are shining like the time I gave you a Christmas present. Gah, why that obvious? Well, you're blushing like a ripe cherry. You're also excited now that we're gonna pop our cherries, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I couldn't find it either. Never change, Allie. You too, Sayori. Our lips meet. Our tongues intertwine. Pleasurable stimulation like jolts of electricity courses through my every fiber of our being. Our bodies gradually heat up. There is no shame, only desire. We don't even care that we are being watched. We gasp for air without a care. Ugh, how corny. Natsuki's voice recalls us back to reality. We momentarily part our tongues to look at them. Don't you think I've forgotten about you both? Or, yeah, d you don't need the you. Just don't think I've forgotten. It's, it's, it's the way it's phrased now, it's like a question, but it's not. Uh, what? You two can join in too. Really? Yes, let's have fun together. You can't be serious, Big Sis. Yuri, your fantasies from the times you did it with my pen will now become a reality. My, to say such things so this brazenly, you're going to make me act up. And Natsuki, Big Bro's going to teach you sex ed. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. No shit, it's both fucked and cringe. Eh, I doubt you can make me feel good anyways. Challenge accepted. Well, let's have fun, shall we? But first... I look down upon Siri with gentle affection. Ready? Siri looks back with love and anticipation. Yeah, Ellie, hold me tight and make me yours. Come here, you sweet cinnamon bun. Censored. Oh, they did it for me. Good. And then they all fucked. The end. If you want to imagine them banging to the rhythm of this tune, go ahead, because that's exactly what's happening. <laughs>